So a few months ago, Google announced that they built an AI that is superior to ChatGPT4. Everyone was skeptical due to how for over a year now, Microsoft and OpenAI has absolutely dominated the artificial intelligence industry. Or so we thought. A couple of days ago, Google dropped yet another version of their AI, Gemini Ultra. Honestly, it's getting kind of hard to keep track nowadays. Google Bard is officially dead and is replaced by Bard Advanced. No, actually it's Duet Advanced. No, it's actually Gemini Pro. No, it's Gemini Ultra. Wait, no, it's Gemini Advanced using the Gemini Ultra AI. Now, the question on everyone's minds is, can it finally compete with GBD4? Stick around to the end to find out. Now, to access Gemini Advanced, we need, you guessed it, cash money. A whopping $19.99 USD per month. So for everyone, myself included, who hoped that we would stop having to throw our money at Microsoft's capitalist conglomerate, we now have the choice to give our money to Google so that they can continue using us for their totally non-invasive privacy invasion. We've established that the price point for both Gemini Advanced and GPT-4 is the same. Although to give some credit to Google, the Google One AI Premium Plan does include other benefits such as two terabytes of cloud storage. However, to see if we get our money's worth, we need to see if its performance is on par with ChatGPT4. If any of you have ever used GPT4, you'll realize that it's pretty, well, slow, especially compared to its predecessor, GPT3.5. The first thing you'll realize with Gemini Ultra is that it's fast. In fact, regardless of prompt, it seems to be two to three times faster than GPT4. This is a breath of fresh air from using GBD4 for so long, especially when you have just a quick question, but GBD4 starts pondering about everything in the known universe. What about non-text responses? In terms of image generation, both systems seem to take a similar amount of time to generate the images. Both are pretty damn slow right now. We'll take a closer look at image generation later on in this video, so stick around to find out more. One major component of modern AI models such as GBD4 that shocked everyone is their creativity. For decades, we associated creativity as a purely human trait and one of the fundamental limitations with machines and AI. However, GBD4 is creative. What I mean by creative is that it's able to generate interesting and new content. It's probably more creative than many of us, to be frank. As scary as that sounds, for now, it's creatively only compounds based on the user's prompts and inputs, so it's not about to get any creative ideas by itself anytime soon. Not yet, Arnold. Let's do a scientific experiment and see what happens. Write me a poem about quantum entanglement in the style of Shakespeare. ChatGPT wrote a decent poem, but it wasn't as Shakespearean as I would have liked. In my opinion, Gemini actually wrote a better poem, much more fitting as something Shakespeare could have written. I especially like the final line of the poem, such cosmic verses mortals cannot understand. It sounds like Gemini is mocking us humans as mere mortals that can't even understand basic quantum entanglement. Okay, so it's creative and has more style. How about we focus on some objective and practical aspects from now on? Fine, let's do some problem solving. A huge improvement from GBD4 from 3.5 was its problem solving ability. Its ability to better interpret problems from prompts and also present more accurate solutions and responses. It was in other words, much more intelligent. So to compare which AI bot was truly the better model, I presented three types of problems for both GBD4 and Gemini Ultra. The first problem I asked was a logic game. Amanda, Brittany, Charlie, and Darren go to the park for a picnic and each bring one type of food and one type of drink. The picnic meal consisted of sandwiches, peanuts, salad, pie, and drinks included water, coffee, milk, and coke. Neither of the girls brought sandwiches or pie. The person who brought the pie also brought the coke. The person who brought the salad did not bring coffee. Amanda did not bring peanuts and Darren brought milk. Now, which of the following statements are true? A. Amanda brought salads and milk. B. Brittany brought peanuts and coffee. C. Charlie brought peanuts and coffee. D. Darren brought pies and coke. So I let the two AI models do their thing. GBT arrived at the correct answer, which was option B. Brittany brought peanuts and coffee. However, Gemini said both option B and option D was correct. So from the problem, we know that Darren brought milk, so obviously option D is incorrect. It looks like Gemini falls behind when it comes to logically solving problems. Don't get me wrong, the table here looks nice and it's a nice touch, but if it can't solve my problems, 
then what's the point? I then decided to let AI do some of my brother's chemistry homework. Some simple redox reactions. Surprisingly, both AI models ended up with a correct answer. They both provided accurate working out, although I have to say that ChatGPT's formatting for the chemical formulas was much more readable compared to Gemini. The third problem I asked was a bit of a trick question. Today I have five apples, but yesterday I ate one. How many apples do I have today? Or Gemini said I must have four apples today, even though I told him I have five apples today. Yeah. GPT-4, however, was able to pick up this little trick and said that I indeed have five apples today, regardless of what I ate yesterday. So the moral of the story is, don't go using Gemini to do your homework just yet. It sometimes fails, other times it can work, but it is definitely not consistent. GPT is still every student's favorite AI hero. Now, I know that many of you don't actually care which AI is more intelligent, because let's face it, in a few years, they're all gonna be so much smarter than us, it doesn't really matter. So what about the cool pictures? I'm glad you asked. Gemini Ultra's vision for image generation seems to be more focused towards realism. It's able to generate pretty realistic images. However, it struggles with details. And often you get a weird uncanny valley type of vibe from a lot of the human-based images it generates. GBD force image generation doesn't default to realistic images, but it definitely has most of the crooks and crannies in place when it comes to details. Overall, GBT4 produces more accurate and, how should I say this, complete images when compared to Gemini, although the two AI models focus on different styles. To be fair, neither is really industry leading in terms of AI art, and if you truly want to create cool stuff, you should really be using Midjourney or Stable Diffusion. Nonetheless, if we're only talking about Gemini versus ChatGPT, GPT-4 does come out on top when it comes to image generation. There are several other areas that I didn't personally experiment with, but judging from other creators and people in the scene, the general consensus is that Gemini Ultra is not as powerful as ChatGPT-4, at least not yet. For example, Fireship found that although Gemini Ultra could interpret code pretty well, it still makes various mistakes when it is asked to generate code. So what does this all mean? Has OpenAI and Microsoft squashed yet another bug and completely obliterated Google's AI aspirations? Not quite. The truth is that Gemini Ultra is showing a lot of promise and potential. From the couple hours I've played around with it, it seems to have much more personality and is even more creative compared to ChatGPT. This seems to be the trend that Google was pushing from the beginning, even with Google Bard. Furthermore, it has endless possibilities when it comes to integration and plugins with the Google ecosystem. Although Microsoft is trying desperately and doing a pretty good job at integrating its AI for more practical uses, when it comes to the internet, Google is still dominating with its search engines and YouTube, etc. So no, the team behind Gemini has not completely failed and their lives work is not a complete bust yet. Only time can tell. However, ChatGPT remains to be the king of AI bots, surviving yet another round of contestants. OpenAI is still dominating and even Google barely scratched ChatGPT4. With GPT-5 coming soon, will anyone be able to take down ChatGPT at all? Well, if there ever is a better AI model than ChatGPT, whether it's Gemini or not, I'll be for sure covering the news on this channel right here. So subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos.